Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great night tonight. Tonight, we're gonna to take a look at the new Google Task. They've recently revamped and have a nice clean look to it. Great uh, in the new Gmail on iOS or Android. But actually, I'm not gonna go through it and explain this to you. I brought in a special guest who's an expert on productivity, on apps and all the software that's out there. His name is Francesco from, from Keep Productive and he's gonna go through it with you right now. Hello there. Thank you very much to Jamie, first of all, for having me here on the Teachers Tech channel. Um, it's great to be in touch with all you guys. Um, hopefully, a lot of you guys are educators out there or those who are really using software in school. So hopefully, this review of Google Tasks, which has been recently been released, will go over some of the most important functions of it. Now, um, just a, a little note, I do run my own YouTube channel, which is called Keep Productive. I'll in get Jamie to include the link in the description. Uh, but if you're not following his channel uh, here on Teachers Tech, uh, make sure to subscribe here too. So, Google Tasks for iOS and for Android. What is this new application? What have Google released uh, now? <laughs> because there's, you know, Google always adding to their experiences. Now, some of you may have heard of Google Keep and maybe even recommended it to a few of your students in the past. Google Keep is essentially like a note taker slash checklist application. It's almost like having post-it notes in your pocket. Um, and it's a great application for iOS, Android and web. Uh, and lots of people really enjoy it. But Google Keep obviously needed some sort of task management experience allowing you to essentially create a to-do list for your day. Now Google have done exactly that with Google Tasks. They have released it on iOS and Android and is now available inside of the new Gmail which I believe Jamie reviewed here on the channel. So do check out the Gmail review here. He talked a little bit about how it's embedded inside of the Gmail application now as an add-on. So you can get Google Tasks and Google Keep there, which is pretty exciting. But Google Tasks is essentially your to-do list application. It's a dead simple one. Um, and if you're recommending it either to your students or to other faculty members, I think it's a good solution. It's a pretty simplistic solution, mainly because the application doesn't really do a great deal in terms of uh, you know anything too snazzy. So the application allows you to add to-dos to lists. And from the application, you can add to-dos with details, some tasks, and also due dates as well. So you can start adding in, you know, what pieces of homework you need to mark or what bits of research you need to do. So it's a pretty simplistic application. It's something that a lot of people are enjoying because sometimes maybe some of you are using some more advanced task managers for software. And sometimes it can get pretty bloated or maybe a bit overwhelming and that's totally understandable. And a lot of people do revert to pen and paper. And this is sort of a nice medium to some extent. You don't want to go too advanced, but you want this simplicity of very similar to note, pen and paper. Um, so this could be a great application for you, especially for students as well. If you and your students are looking for a good task manager, this could be the one because it's really distraction free. There's no adverts or applications sort of pushing you out and it does work really really well so students can start adding tasks um, even to lists so for example they could have a homework list um, they could have uh, a, a list per class which is quite exciting and they can access this all through their gmail or even through uh, the ios and android applications without having too much of a um, differentiated experience they can obviously keep to that uh, layout now the application does provide some really nice font and illustrations if that's something that excites you and it's really designed in a white style so you've got this lovely clean canvas to start adding tasks to. Now there's no limit to adding tasks and you can even sort them by date or even just the order that you put them in and subtasks are simply displayed below each of the tasks which makes it really easy to see and start ticking off exactly what you're working on. You can even see all of your completed items, but if that's something you don't want to see, you can click the delete all completed items and they'll go away. But it's a really nice experience, especially if you're trying to simplify everything. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick review of Google Tasks for iOS. Do jump over to my channels because I believe Jamie will be coming over very soon to do a full Grammarly review. His opinions, his thoughts on the really popular spell checking service. So guys, thanks very much. I hope you can join uh, myself over at the Keep Productive YouTube channel. But just to say a big thank you to Jamie for having me on and I'm looking forward to being back very soon. Anyway guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.